have a wife and two kids, and I couldn't imagine being in that exact same situation. And wish there, you know, I want there to be something available so this doesn't continue to happen. You know, that got us thinking. There's got to be a better way to do this. There's got to be a way to put some some sort of separation to keep, you know, nerves and you know, bad situations like this from happening. And so the idea we came up with was a uh, a robot that would deploy from a police car and allow for the police officer to essentially conduct the traffic stop remotely. And we thought, how could we automate this process to kind of give a buffer zone for both the, the driver and the police officer to kind of take away that element of danger? Our solution is only as effective as it can be deployed, and so our our goal is to keep the costs as low as, as we possibly can. That's why we're bringing in all this additive manufacturing and 3D printing. We're in the process of trying to raise some funds. Uh, like Chris mentioned, we've got we've had quite a few iterations, but we're coming to the end of the ropes of our of our own funding. Um, this is something that we would really like to see implemented, and in order to do that, we need to make a fully functional prototype with all the bells and whistles we like to talk about. So that's, that's kind of our current limitation on our project. If we can just get a little bit more time allowing all the individuals in these, in these encounters that benefit of the doubt, you know, we really think that we can save some lives. Yeah. And that's, that's why we're doing this.